carrying it over, or you don't actually have to carry it over. You can actually, you can toss it, but you that ball, you have to complete your crossing, right? To, to make that all count, otherwise you get a technical foul for each ball. What? So the, the odds are yes. Uh, we got about 10 minutes of reserve time left. We're just gonna open up for questions. So if you got questions, raise your hand. We're gonna kinda do as many of these as we can. Yeah. I guess just film the question was already go over and see what the team's how wow is doing. So the, the question is if a ball comes out of the opponent's human player station and like they lose control and it rolls into the courtyard or whatever, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, I mean that's a one of the things they're looking it up, but ball control and ball action is one of those things that you're gonna there's gonna be a bunch of subtle little tiny rules and be very clear that your team understands what you can do and what you can't do. Yeah. No, that's 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 what you can't do. Right? Right. So you basically have to carry it across. Now, you know, within the spirit of that rule, I'm sure that like if you're like halfway across here and you like juggle the ball and it falls and it goes forward and you continue, that's going to be okay. But you can't just have one robot sitting back there just like wielding boulders across the field to your teammates. Yes. Your entire alliance. So you win, all your alliance points get two. If you get the bonus ranking points, you get the whole alliance gets them. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Yeah. It's so for the bonus ranking points for crossing the alliance, it is for the it's for the whole alliance. So you have three robots and you have to complete eight crossings to get them. So you know one, one robot could cross eight times. Like if you built the ultimate tank drive, drive train that could go through over everything, you could spend your two minutes and 30 seconds of just like, I'm gonna go over this one, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go over, and, and actually that would be pretty reasonable. You'd probably do pretty well because, yeah, one crossing is towards your opponent's castle from the neutral zone. Sure. So there are specific rules about blocking. Um, there's a thing called the shield that they reference. I would say you're gonna have to read the rules on that one because uh, about can you block a certain obstacle? And I, so I think I'm gonna say that you're guessing it's like if you happen to get one of the really easy obstacles put out there, could you sacrifice a robot to defend this one obstacle, right? Or if it's the only obstacle one robot can get over, I think that those are subtleties you're going to have to take a look at, but it's not its not bad thinking. No, no, she's talking about, like, if my robot can go over here, sitting in front of it. Okay. Okay, so the shields, got, uh, sorry, I said shields. Um, one of the things that's kind of a weird um, subtlety that we don't have on this field is in between every single obstacle, there's like a piece of polycarbonate um, dividing these obstacles. For example, in a case like this, where you have two low obstacles directly next to each other, you can't just like kind of go diagonally. So uh, each one of these has to be approached as an individual basis, which also means the width of your robot may be very important this year. Okay. Got it. Can one robot help another robot scale the tower? I see so you're talking about like if you built a forklift and you just like lifted it up and hooked it on it. I'm sure that if you could do that, it's probably not against the rules because the scoring for that is at the end of the match. But. That's one of those one. Check the Q and A. We have two minutes left, so time for like one more question or two more questions. Yeah. Um, is there any rule uh, making it so defense cannot be on the tower? No. Just the last twenty seconds. So um, he's asking about defense on the tower. So what it is is during during the regular gameplay, they can be 
all over that, right? But during the last 20 seconds when you're going to hang or surround or defend or attack or whatever the, the new word is, they can't be touching it. So it's similar to not being able to touch the tower in, in 2013 and all, a lot of the other safe zones. But yeah, during when you're shooting, that's not a safe zone. G43 says robots are the same half of the field as their alliance power. All right. Um, any last question? Last question. Right here. Can you wheel a boulder underneath that bridge? Probably. I don't know. Oh, you have to carry it. Well, but, yes, but, but the conf it's control of a boulder is pushing also, right? Check the rules, we'll have to figure it out. Um, okay, so that's all the questions we have time for. Um, take, you know, you can take a couple minutes to look at this. Um, I do want to say though, that this year there's a new email address specifically for Dallas area teams and the surrounding area, which is FRC support at, at list dot ti dot com there is a sheet in your bag that list has mentors from a number of different teams that will answer questions for you so if you get in a bind whether you need help at your shop or you just need access to a game element or you're just like i don't know what the heck i got myself into you can send an email address there um, it's frc support at list Dot ti dot com. It's in your bag. Um, and if you're a technical mentor in the area with lots of years of first support, please see Rachel and she can get you on that list if you're willing to provide support. Um, 